our third segment of our show, our third segment, so freestyle, we would talk about anything we want to talk about. Now, I mean, the story, you know, Brett Favre going to the New York Jets. How will Brett Favre do, <laughs> like the name Favre, how Brett Favre, Favre do in the Meadowlands? Huh? I think Brett Favre is going to be very disappointing. When he told me his arm was fatigued, when he told everybody, my arm feel like I'm 30 years old, he's being a baby, warning yeah. his mouth. He's always, he never can make his mind up, this guy. There's a reason why he has the most NFL interceptions in the history of football. And we're going to prove it now. We're going to scheme, scheme, scheme. He's going to play a tough build team. Mm -hmm. He'll play a tough Patriot team two times, four times, four times this year. Yep. And I'm telling you, he'll be tough. He, he'll, have a, he'll have a bad year. I think he's going to have a bad year. And, the, and Green Bay won this. A lot of people are saying, oh, um, Aaron Rodgers, Keith, Brett, 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 Brett for mayor, Brett for president, whatever they say over there, they're going to be rich and they're not because he's going to do terrible over there. They won't even Absolutely happen. terrible. I think that yeah, I'm going to agree with Kari. Brett Favre does not, is not going to be that good. Any, I mean, and when it comes to the AFC East, you might not have all the best teams all around, but you do have the best team. Right. And you do have four, uh, well, four, including the Jets, but three solid defenses. You got, Bill's got a solid defense. Yeah, they got a pretty good defense. Patriots got a solid defense, and Miami has a solid defense. When you have to play those f six times a year, and then you got to compete with the other teams that you're going to play, I mean, Brett Favre is known for throwing touchdowns, but he's also known for throwing interceptions, and you're not going to be able to gunsling your way he through the, the AFC East. You don't have the weapons one, no, and you're shoot. not, even if you did, you haven't gotten used to them. It took you a while to get used to the new weapons they got you in Green Bay. You're going to come to the Jets, who have a history of, you know, settling down and, and doing bad at the end of a season, and you're going to be the you're going to be the hero? I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Should have stayed with the Packer Green. Well, I'll tell you this right now. Okay, Brett Favre, the only way I see Brett Favre leaving the game, unfortunately, is by him getting uh, some kind of career-ending injury. Because I think he's always just going to play. Yeah. I think he's always going to play. I mean, the guy, the guy loves the game. The guy absolutely loves the game. He can still play the game, but he's just not going to play it at a high level. But here's what gets me mad: the New York, you can't like getting Brett Favre, getting a quarterback like Brett Favre, an old player like you know, 30 years old. You only get that play if you're positive he's going to push you to the next level. I'm talking exactly. about Super Bowl level. Yep. You don't do that just to be nine and seven, ten and six, especially nope. when you got the Pats in your division. Yep. You do that big trade if you're going to. Like the Patriots. Mm -hmm. They didn't receive it. They got Randy Moss not just to be, you know, mm -hmm. the, another team 12. They got Randy Moss to be 16 and 0 Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Those are big shows or big trades. You don't get, that's like, you know, the you know the Atlanta Hawks getting up, you know, getting Ron Artest. Yeah. Okay. You're going to get Ron Artest, yeah, awesome. but is it really going to push you over to the top and be a champion? Awesome. Let's yeah. not get cute here. Nope. And they got cute. And we're going to see. What cuteness gets you in the NFL? We're gonna find out real quick. Big goose. We're gonna find out real <laughs> quick. <laughs> Big and I can't wait. Yep. Any more final questions, comments, concerns, comments? Nope. No. That is it for seven bit time. I want to thank uh Kari coming through. Dan coming through. Um you know, it's uh it's really crunch time from the political world. So go go uh Barack Obama. You know, that's that's who uh stepping up is officially endorsing. So I'm going to force with you, and God bless the United States of America.